Hey guys, hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. So yesterday we had Cheesecake Factory. Um, we ordered in. I just woke up. It's about 8.40 right now. So we're going to go get breakfast. Breakfast closes around 10 o'clock. So yeah, I don't know what they got. So we'll go see together. Hope you guys had a wonderful night. Um, yeah, see you later. So we didn't just get back, we kind of got back a few hours ago from shopping. I don't even think, alright, boom, let's just recap real quick because I don't even know where I left off with you guys, but you guys are going to see snippets of when we went shopping, we went shopping, and we also got the tickets for tomorrow um, for the graduation, so it's going to be big lit, you already know, um, my brother is graduating from the Navy, so you guys are going to see that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bring my camera. Actually, yes, I am. I'm going to bring my camera because I have to. I'm not going to show y'all. I'm not going to show you guys everything that I got, but I definitely, definitely want to show you guys. All right. I got me the, oh, my mama got me this. Can you guys see? It says... Anyways. Yes, so it says Navy Sister. And that's because for me, I'm a Navy Sister. But yeah, so that was that. We didn't really do much. And then we came back and then we just chilled, ate, got cute, took pictures, all that good stuff. Um, so tomorrow, it's currently. It's currently. 6.07 out here right now 
and I'm about to get ready to go to bed. I should be in bed and sleeping by like 7 because I got to be up by like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning so I could do this face again, do my hair, get ready. And we got to be out of here by like 5.30. Can't front. I want to leave by 5, but 5.30, okay? Get there for me and everything is going to be rolling smoothly in Jesus' name. But yeah, I'm super excited because we got a lot planned for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the big day because I didn't see my brother in like, I don't even know how long. They had him for Christmas, New Year's, my birthday. Like, I ain't seen this boy in I don't even know how long. So I'm going to see him and like, it's going to be lit. So yeah, you guys are going to see all of that. And yeah, bye. Okay, guys, I'm not sure if you can see me right now. Or how I'm even looking. This is the outfit. It's 5.30 in the morning right now. And we're heading to the ceremony now. Because we got to get there early so we can get some good stuff. The Naval Service Training Command, your Admiral Jennifer Kucher, is proud to present the men and women of Navy Band Great Lakes. show you guys my brother right now oh yeah i'm gonna have to take some pictures over here oh yeah this new restaurant well i tried this new restaurant we all tried this new restaurant yeah we tried this restaurant and it was so good and you guys are gonna see everything it was actually so beautiful i've never seen a restaurant like that before um and yeah my brother came and we chilled with my brother we took some tiktoks we did mad like, we did mad it's kind of late not too late about like actually let me check <laughs> Like it's kind of late, not too late. I don't even know what time it is. Hold on. Okay, so it's about to be eleven out here. It's about to be eleven out here. So I'm about to just wrap it up, ready for tomorrow morning, cause we gotta be out of here. I know I sound like mad tired, but that's because I am. Oh yeah, yeah. Y'all see the dread, like. I know y'all peep it, but yeah, so that's that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. So it's January 15th and we're on our way to the airport now. We're about to check out. This hotel was amazing. You guys are gonna see like snippets of the hotel because I'm gonna record that. And yeah. What's good? Will Bruce. My sister told me to hop on the cam and tell you guys about my experience. Uh, joined the Navy a little bit over nine months ago. So the Navy's pretty cool. Uh, left for boot camp. When we got there, it was during COVID time, so 
everybody had masks on, which helped us out a little bit because they couldn't fuck us up for like making weird faces. But the entire experience is really just to kind of break you down from like your previous habits and like break you out of whatever attitude or whatever like cockiness behavior that you're like used to using. So that's pretty much what we had to go through for those 10 weeks, just about. Um, they made us go through a ROM period, which is kind of a way to make sure that we weren't spreading COVID. So when we first got there, it was like two weeks of just, obviously no phone, um, but we're just sitting there and reading. And we, we couldn't even shine boots at the time. We, we had nothing to do. We we're just like talking to each other and making jokes, figuring out what it's like on the other side of the country because like everybody came from different places. So that was okay. But 14 days in, we all wanted to go. Like there was nothing to do. So we were barely getting fed for that ROM period too. They had like cold cuts three times a day. We were starting. I lost a good amount of weight during that period. And then boot camp started. Um, we had to go to like P days or whatever, which is like processing days. It wasn't that bad because we were still like getting shots. They were trying to like medically clear us so that they can actually beat us. Getting beat is just like, yo, get on the ground, do some push ups, squats, whatever, air chairs, get there, that type of thing. So during P days, we were getting medically cleared. And then once we were cleared, it was on and popping. Like, they're like, your boot camp experience starts right now. Oh, but it was lit. We were, we were in there like, all right, finally. Cause we just sat in our room for two weeks doing absolutely nothing. So once we got to the first day of boot camp, obviously we got beat. And that was for people just like talking, like any reason that they can give you. Like I got pretty much yelled at for talking with my hands, which you guys can see I'm doing right now. But in boot camp, if you're gonna go, just just get through it really. Like don't try to fight anybody. Like you didn't get on that plane to get sent home. Like, they're not gonna ask you to do anything that you can't do. Like, they're not gonna ask you to do anything that hundreds of thousands of people didn't do before you got there. You could do it, for real.